Well, hello everybody and welcome to Feel Better Eating. This is a whole food plant-based experience that has the intention to educate you with about the health benefits of eating plants and a plant-based diet, inspire you to try new foods, and most importantly, Catherine, is... Have fun. Have fun, there we go. <laughs> We're learning, we've got that dialed in. Catherine, this is Catherine, my wonderful wife. I'm Joshua. And we're going to have a lot of fun here live in the Michigan City, Indiana, at the Grace Learning Center. And we've got a banger, certified banger of a recipe. This has been put through the test. I think I've been eating it for the last nine days <laughs> to great enjoyment. And I'm excited mm. to make it again. Catherine, welcome to the show. How are you doing and what are we making today? Good. Thank you, Joshua. We are making sweet potato brownies today. And when I discovered this recipe, I was blown away on how uh, moist brownies could be. I hate that word, so I was trying to do a different word than moist, but they are so moist. They've got so much richness to them and they're completely plant-based. So chocolatey, so sweet, whole food ingredients. I love this recipe. As I was telling the audience, I've made it like 10 times within the last week and it's as Joshua said, a certified banger. Certified. It's something that you can make for parties or just when you're craving it, you have the ingredients around the house. It really is so simple to make. It is. Right, well, we're gonna get out. I'm just gonna open this window because I'm, I think I'm trying to cook myself. You're already sweating. Uh, no, nah, it's just hot. I don't think it's that hot, but I'm in a dress, so. All right. Off to the right, Josh. This one? Yeah, you know. Oh, that open, that yeah, open yeah. then. Oh, we didn't grab any bowls of such. No, oh, that's better. We need Oof. just one bowl. All right, I'll get a bowl as okay. well. Okay. So that was, uh, I think it's because the oven's heating up, isn't it? This big enough? Mm, no. This one? Yes. All right, All right cool. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so the star of this show really is this potato right here. This is a Japanese sweet potato, or as Joshua would like to call. Sweet white magic in a purple jacket. It yeah. is a sweet potato that you can get at mostly Whole food stores. Yeah. They're not very common at your regular store, and they're different than the yam or orange sweet potato because of the purple skin, obviously. And the inside of it is white. So that is why Joshua said white magic and a purple jacket. Yeah, and just for reference, Kate has already baked this. This yes. isn't it raw. I, I pre-baked this for the show. The potato skins are a favorite of Labradors, so <laughs> it never goes to waste never. at our house. We, or me. No, Joshua will also eat the potato skins. There's probably some other recipes that you can think of with the potato skins, but we're basically going to use this sweet potato as the base for the wet ingredients mm -hmm. of the brownie. And you can see some people when they make brownies, they sometimes use banana, but this sweet potato is sweet, but it's a different sweetness that you usually get. Yeah, it tastes like candy. Question? Yeah, isn't the skin of the sweet potato healthy? I mean, real health, the healthiest part of the potato? Well, I've heard that before about other potatoes and sweet potatoes, and it definitely has nutritional value. Just if you add it into the brownie, it won't it just, blend. It's too thick, so you'll end up with like a... Chunks of brownie skin, but you could, uh, potato skin in your brownie, but yeah, if you really you wanted could, to try that, that, you could go for it. And then what I do with these is, especially if they're crispy, you remember the sesame oil? I just put the sesame oil <laughs> and just dip that in. And because yeah. this is, I mean, we're not, well, I don't think we're gonna use the whole thing. You could just try the potato by itself. They're so good. It tastes like candy, I think. We could we could chop off they're a little really bit good. to for people to try. They're very addictive. I buy these in bulk now. We get 20 pounds at a time. So the reason that we started getting into these potatoes is because sweet potatoes are a different type of carbohydrate. They're a complex carb that yeah. your body processes differently than a yellow or a russet or a red potato. Yeah. Do you remember any information about how our body processes the complex carbs? It just takes longer, so they're more satiating. Mm. So when you eat these brownies, they do have a lot of other health foods in, but this will make it actually fill you up and satiate you. Does anyone want to try it? It will be cold. Is it cold? It's room temperature. Yeah, we can leave that off to the side. I well, baked it this morning. We can add those samples out, but in the main recipe, we're going to start off with a cup of this and to bake these how long did you bake that for Catherine? I baked it at 400 for 30 minutes or maybe more but you just put the whole thing on a pan or straight on the rack put some holes in it and 
it gets all mushy and, and you're in. let it cool and then you're ready for your potato, I mean your brownie base, potato base. Next up we're going to be adding the sweet, sweet maple syrup. Yes, so we're going to be doing a third of a cup of maple syrup. So we may need our other bottle. So this works as our sweetener for the recipe and it also adds that liquid to it because you know with other sugars like the cane sugar and the coconut sugar it's a dry sugar but with this one I think it also facilitates that like moist brownie that we're looking for. Don't Wait, pull. who's, who's brown, is brownies anyone's favorite dessert? Yeah. Mm. I, I think it's my favorite as well. Really? I love chocolate. It's definitely top chocolate 13. Chocolate cake, cakey. Like, I like brownies more than I like chocolate cake. There's just something about them that's different. Yeah, me too. And that's definitely what's going on here. Something that I love about this recipe as well is that it's kind of off tangent, but that's just how I roll. You can use these same ingredients, omit the cocoa powder, and you can use it as a base for different flavors of cakes. So like I use this sweet potato base with the maple syrup and the coconut oil and everything that you see here. And I've made a cinnamon raisin cake and it was so good as it well. Was really it was really good. So it, this is very versatile. It's very versatile, this recipe. You just change a few ingredients and you can get completely different flavors. It just works. It does just work. Okay. so. As, as you can see now, we're adding more wet ingredients. So when you make, when you're baking, mostly you do the wet ingredients and then the dry ingredients. So all of the wet ingredients we're putting in the food processor straight. And this is almond butter. Yeah. But you can use any of the nut butters, as we always say, very mm -hmm. interchangeable. Almond will make this sweet, though. Is there any more that you can get out of that? Yeah, I can you get probably more. Probably need a little bit. A more. little bit more. Oh, sticky that. At home, I, I sometimes just take almonds straight up that I've pre-soaked and I put them in there. I and don't then even, blend it. Yeah, and then yes. blend it. So you can just, if you don't have nut butter at home or seed butter at home, you can also just use the nuts that you have. Magnificent. Okay. That's in there. I'll lift that later off air. <laughs> off air. And then our favorite Majuli dates. This yep. is gonna help a lot with, so the sweet potatoes actually have a really high amount of fiber and these dates are going to have fiber in them as well. So we like to add the dates for the extra, a different type of texture, a different flavor of sweetness. I think it adds like a dynamic layer to the And obviously all brownie. the health benefits of dates, which we've touched on Numerous. in every show. Infinite I think they're in every nice. show. Even if we're not using dates, we talk about dates. They're in every sweet show, I feel like, that we do. Definitely. Every sweet show, without a doubt. Okay. It's Another classic for us, vanilla extract. Right. This is going to be the natural antidepressant. It's going to also add to that real nice flavor that we're looking for in the brownies. I just feel like most sweets just, are... Just eyeball it. A really? A risky. That's risky. It's a I teaspoon. Like it it's a teaspoon. <laughs> That's probably a teaspoon. See, it's just into the sun. If we get it wrong. You just trust. You, you like picture the measuring size in your head and then just don't. Go on then. Get it. You need another spoon, right? Yeah. Okay, so the, and then we're going to do a heaping spoonful of coconut oil. Which is going to help with for brain health, digestion, and it's also going to help oh, bind. Oh, this is all. rock hard. Whoa. Oh no, this is a. S <laughs> You'll get it out. Do you want help? It's just not going to blend the same. Oh. I was not expecting that, Leopo. Uh, there's another one in there. There's one in there. Well, don't use. Don't no. You I don't, don't want the other one. I don't want the other one. Okay. Well, as we break this apart, do you want to tell us the history of brownies? I do my best to remember. All right, we okay. I, I remember, so. Do you really? Yeah. I remember. Back in 1893. <laughs> way back when. 1893. So brownies. I mean, that's pretty like recent in the human timeline, isn't it? Well, so it's just over a hundred years. There was a woman who was called Catherine. Bertha Palmer. Who asked a chef for a sweet treat that could fit in a lunchbox that was smaller than a cake, but had cake-like properties. Mm -hmm. And the chef went on his way, did an experiment, and out popped. This chocolatey walnut, what he called the Palmer Brownie after that, with an apricot glaze. And so I guess the Palmer House Hotel is this in very Chicago. bougie hotel in Chicago. That, and they still serve that brownie recipe to date. Fascinating. So, there you go, now you know. 
1893. And then after that, people kept making different renditions of it. It came in a cookbook in 1896 from Fanny Farmer. That's her name, Fanny Farmer. And Bertha Palmer. And she Not related. Is, no. And she, but she didn't call it a brownie, and I don't think it was chocolatey, so I don't even know why she's in the Wikipedia page. But then other people in Maine tried to say that they came up with the brownie, but the Palmer house was like, no, no, no. It was us. It was us first. <laughs> okay, so get that in there. that's one spoonful. That. It's like excavating. <laughs> excavating coconut oil. And then are we going to blend this with all the dry and put the wet in as well? No, you have to do, uh, we'll blend the wet first and then go dry. That'll be good enough. Okay. We're going to have to get more of that out later. But... Right. Trusty old mixer. Loudest mixer in the world. The ear shattering mixture. It's really safe as well. So I'm just going to blend that up until it's smooth. That worked out really well. That worked out well. So you're you going to put it on the recipe, it's going to get dirty. You can see how goopy it is? I can see it on the mirror, I think. So you could eat that as a raw dessert as is. Yeah, like that could, will be yeah. sweet, that will be satisfying, filling. It looks like cookie dough, but it does look like cookie this dough. is not the end. Oh, well, yeah, that's I knew that, that was going to happen. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, so I said that I was like, you're, that's going to get messy. I need that bowl right now. She needs the bowl. So the now that we've got that done, we're going to transfer it over to a larger mixing bowl. If you do anything in a small mixing bowl, you're going to regret it because you try to mix things and then it just is so Ends hard. up on the floor. The right, dog's eating it. Just, it. Oh, man. Don't want that, do we? We did drop these brownies on the ground and the dog was right on it. Don't last long, do they? No. Okay. Right, get that in there. Look at that gooey. Lovely job. That's awesome. It is. It blended really well, that. I'm surprised considering the coconut oil was rock yeah, hard. Yeah. Maybe because the potato was still slightly warm. I don't know. It's a good job though. Right, so that's the first part of the brownie mix. Mm -hmm. It yeah. does smell. I don't know if you can smell that, but it smells really good. I think you put the perfect amount of vanilla in. Oh. Not too much, not too little. This right. food processor sometimes just really holds on to the material. Yeah. You'll have to give that a good off camera lick later. Is this done for now? Are we using this again? Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, I can use it again. Um, should frosting. I try to like... I'll do that. Okay. Can you start making the next part? So now is the dry ingredient time. We're gonna start with oat flour. You can use almond flour here or coconut flour. I'm not quite sure how those would taste because I've only used almond flour so far, but I can imagine it ends up relatively the same. Yeah. And so I need what? A, what do you need? Cup? Um, do they do they have another third cup over there? Or just uh, just use that one. I know it's got maple syrup in it, so all the flour will stick to it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or use that and just eyeball a third of a cup. Go well, on, we'll eyeball two thirds of a cup. <laughs> I did it yourself. earlier actually. You I got like two thirds it. of a cup of oats and it worked out. A bit more. See, that's about half. Flour there, that? Yeah, there's another one. Uh, there's this one There's here. plenty. Go on. Okay, because I did buy the oat flour, too. So. Oh. Yeah, we've got the oat. That, that will come that in handy in the next flour, time, yeah, because yeah, this thank is basically you. empty. Sure right oh, oh, no, no you very did great. Proactive. Thank, you. thank you, Pam. You're always amazing. So that's what I love about this recipe as well, is because you're using the sweet potato carb in it, you don't have to use as much flour. A lot of baking recipes, you'll find it needs, like, a... A cup lot, or yeah. a cup and a half of flour and it's a lot of flour and so this requires less flour and that's what I love about this recipe as well. Cacao powder. So we're gonna do a half a cup of cacao powder. For the chop oh that's an interesting rip. Wonder who did that? Looks like a mouse has gone at it. Probably was me. Really? It's very unlike you. Yeah. It almost looks like they wanted to open it but then they changed their mind. I don't know what's going on there. It's okay. It's okay. It's better that it's a small hole because then it doesn't get everywhere. This is weird how it's... Anyway, Whatever. how much of that are we putting in? Organic cocoa powder. Nice. nice. It's got fiber, magnesium, and vitamin C. We're yeah. doing a half a cup of this. Yep. I don't want to get it everywhere. Can it help? We'll see what happens. If there's a little bit extra, it's not going to... Yep, that's probably good. Okay, half of a cup. 
Lovely job. And then we're going to need a teaspoon of baking powder. See how I have got this on lock? Yeah, what's I've that? made this recipe way too many times. Okay, where's... Top shell. What's the baking powder going to do? It's going to be our science experimental part of it. Well, it's going to help it rise, right? Yeah, the brownies don't rise that much, to be honest. But it does help it become like a cakey. And then half a cup of chopped pecans, which I don't think I'll chop up now. Well, we have to put a little bit of sea salt in it. Yeah. Oh, they are chopped. They are. Do you want more chopped than that? Mm. Yeah, a little bit. What about if I put them in here and blend them? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Well, then it will stick to the sides, wouldn't it? it it's not that hard to chop. I think that's all the dry ingredients. That about right? Yeah. So the adding the pecans, or you can even add walnuts. Cashews. Cashews. Adding the chopped nuts is optional, but I guess in the original brownie recipe, walnuts were the one of the stars of the shows. We like the walnuts in it for the brain health, but pecans are also very healthy as a nut. They contain a wide variety of Goodness. nutrients. And so, but I always like to add the extra chocolate chips. I don't like to skip out on the chocolate chips. So when you get that soft chocolate chip in the brownie. No one's complaining about that. It just they? makes such a big difference. Uh, well, that's probably too many, but that's fine. Because we well, only we can take need. Half. Take as many as you want. I think we only need about a fourth of a cup of those. Really? It says half a cup on there. Does it really? Mm, I've been deceived. Hmm. Go on. Well, just put it all in then. That's fine. Really? Yeah. Whatever. Just bang them in. Well, do you want to see how much it is, amounts to? That was professional. Okay. Done that before. Have you? That's... Look at that strategy. You won't find that <laughs> top chef or anything. Why? Like what's that. what's wrong with that? Is that not? I think that's pretty creative. I think it's. There you I go. Think... That's like a nearly. That's basically three quarters of a cup. So I think you did great. Maybe a bit too many, but it's fine. We'll be fine. Okay. So then, I don't know why it's only a quarter cup of. Chocolate chips, then, because yeah, we're gonna make that a heaping one. There we go. Whoa! I love the Keep chocolate. Keep them in. Get them in. Chocolate is not bad for you. Just chocolates. The right chocolate. Covered in, yeah, sugar are the ones that are bad. Yeah. Okay. So right. this actually requires quite a bit of vigorous mixing, because cocoa powder. I don't know what it is about it, like its scientific properties, but you know. Have you, like anyone that's cooked with cocoa powder before, do you realize when it's like, it's so dry and it like bursts up in like smokes of cocoa powder in your face and it, it really struggles to adhere to the wet ingredients when you want it to. I don't know what it is about it, but it is fascinating. Like, do you smell it right now? It's in mm. the air. It okay. smells nice, I think. You could just eat that as well, couldn't you? Raw, probably. Yeah, you could. I'm not quite sure if eating raw oat flour is okay. I have. I was actually thinking about that before the show Were because you really? I do lick Is that it. In your mind? I, I lick the extras off the bowls and stuff like that, it's and I'm fine. fine. But usually you cook oats, so yeah. But you could definitely be fine. Yeah. As long as you're not eating like yes. a pound a cup a day or something. Cup a day. Cup of oats. Cup of dried. A cup of brownie powder a day it keeps the demons away. That looks good. That. Yeah. See how it's all coming together. Into lovely this job. goopy, mushy mass. Lovely, lovely, lovely job. The reason that we bake, I like to bake this recipe instead of keeping it raw is because it gets a nice crisp on it in the oven. Like when you're making brownies, I always like the corner pieces. You do, don't you? Yeah. Because you got the, the hardness of it, the the like upper layer, you know what I mean? And then yeah. the soft insides. And that knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so what we're going to do with that, Catherine, I'll get you. Uh, okay, we I'll should clean, probably I'll move clean you some space. Over. Yeah. I'll get you some space. We got to share a sweet potato we'll with We'll do people, it after. Though. All right. Okay, so you obviously can just put this in a regular cake pan, square pan depending on how much you make and how much big of a size pan you need. But what I've really enjoyed doing recently is making them into brownie bites. So little bite-sized pieces instead. And that way, 
They're like... They cook faster, they, less weight in. They cook faster. And you, you get that crust along all four sides yeah. of it, which I really like. Because we've made it in our little cast iron, and it's just, it's just not the same. It's not the same. So you don't even need like parchment paper. It cooks pretty, it cooks pretty good. So you're just gonna make those into bowls? Yeah, so I just form them. I usually use a tablespoon <laughs> size. Some of them end up a little bit bigger, some of it smaller, but well, it's definitely gonna be chocolate. You look at all those chocolate chips. Oh my goodness. Well, mate, do like six and then we can just do the rest after. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was but they basically look like cookies, but whatever. Brownies. Uh, <laughs> they're brownies. Brownie cookies. Brownie cookies. But whatever size shape that you want for them, you want to really establish it now because, like I said, it doesn't really rise that much. Yeah, but you can do other shapes. I like the long ones sometimes too. What do you mean? The long brownies. You want them like in bars instead of circles. No, I want circles today, but I'm saying you can do bars. Mm. Oh, we lost a chocolate chip. Get in there. Right, well, am I not going fast enough for you? No, that's good. That, that's mm -hmm. enough. So we're going to take. It's so sticky. Just do six total, yeah. You got ice cream scooper. Yeah, an ice cream scooper. That would help, also would yeah. work too. With a little clicker thing on it. My tablespoon at home is kind of like shaped like an ice cream scoop, which is really nice. And then we're going to bake these for how long? About 10 minutes? No, I usually do about 20. You could okay. do 20 to 30 depending on your oven. Yeah, I guess, yeah. All right, Because well, you'll, you'll know once you, the, the, the outside will start to firm. So and I'll then that's when you know when to take it out. <laughs> we'll finish that in a minute. Okay. Right, next we're going to make the frosting to go on top. Back with the blender. I'm not going to worry about cleaning the blender. No. Because it's all just sweet. It's the same flavors. It doesn't it's matter. It's the same. We're going to start off with... Dates, wow, who's surprised? What's better than dates in the brownie? More dates on the top. Dates in okay. uh, two cups, right? So dates is how we get our frosting. It's just, I don't know how else to get it, really, to be honest. <laughs> it's just such a gooey consistency that comes out like frosting. I've made the brownies with an avocado frosting before, like we said, but the avocados, if you don't keep, it in, if you don't keep them in the fridge, the frosting will go bad. Yeah, it goes bad, yeah. So we just shortcutted it and we've made it straight date up date. Because what is regular frosting besides just sugar anyways, isn't it? It's, it's just mainly sugar, sugar, yeah. Sugar and some sort of milk. So that's what this is, sugar with some sort of milk. And I'll go back into the coconut oil. Back, back into the excavating. Back into the... You know, this has been an, an unexpected obstacle of this right. show. Because okay. if it was... Sometimes, you know, people feel like they need to keep their coconut oil in the fridge, but it's not completely necessary. It doesn't How much do we need? necessarily go bad. A heaping spoonful again. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Could you melt it in the microwave? Or no? uh, well, um, I guess we could, but I don't know if this is plastic. This is... I don't know if this, that's microwave safe. That... I don't trust microwave. You kind of have to just scrape the sides. Go on, you do it. Okay. <laughs> Too much, you know, too nuanced of a thing. So I'll start off with the next ingredient. I'm gonna put this is coconut milk. You can use other plant milks. We just really like the coconut milk. It's We're thick. Obsessed. Yeah, it's thick. It's creamy. It's organic. Um, a whole cup, right? Well, it is a whole cup, but honestly, here you just try a half a cup. And then we can add to it if, yeah. if necessary. I, because I've been experimenting with that. the frosting recipe. Beautiful. Sometimes I've been ending up with too much frosting, but then some people think, oh, there's never too much frosting. So then I'm like, ah. So it, you'll find out how much you make here. And if you have extra, it's really not a bad thing because it's actually just a great dessert on its own. Yeah, it's very rich. You like it on its own, I don't. I like it on bananas. Yeah, it's good on make bananas. That and then... Good on apples. Apples, it's bananas. It's kind of like a Nutella spread, kind of, but kind just of, yeah. not with the hazelnut. So, and then we're going to add more cocoa powder <sighs> to get that. Oh. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Type it. We made it. Easy. Easy peasy. Right. Get that in there. You're good at that, you. Look at hidden talent. I, I have a scraping skill, I guess. It's kind of... <laughs> the scrape. It's a very niche skill. We've got a little bit extra. A little bit extra in there. Get that blended up. Get in there. 
Shout out to M Bay. Want me to do it? That's okay. I'm on this side now. Yeah, no, you've been, sides. you've been promoted. What's happened? Is this the promotion I've side? I've been moved down the bench. Okay. It's very sticky over here. Things got out of hand. Okay, so we're going to turbo launch this. And then we're going to evaluate if it needs a bit more. I think it needs a little bit more milk. Go on. So we're going to, just to get a creamier frosting. But if you like chunks of dates in your frosting, then by all means, leave it chunky. Okay. Josh was... Efficient. The, the teasers are here. Or something. Nice little cute one. Oh, look, so look at that. Chocolate frosting. Lovely. You couldn't tell that any different than chocolate frosting you get from the store, I think. I didn't know you could buy chocolate frosting from a store. What are you talking mm. about? I've never bought chocolate frosting from a store. Really? I haven't. That's how they sell it. What, in bags? Well, they, they sell it. Yeah, they sell it. It's already in a dish made up, ready to go. Yeah. You there you go. Mm -hmm. They well, make it shelf. Well, the reason, I mean, the fact that it's shelf stable just makes worrying. it worrying. Makes it a little That's why bit I've worrying. never bought it. Yeah. Well, these are the brownies out the oven. Look at that. Little bites. And so you Lovely. don't even technically need to put frosting on them. We tried them without frosting and yeah. they're really good as well. So these ones that we made at home today do not have extra chopped pecans or walnuts in it. It just has ground up almonds in it and uh, chocolate chips. Okay, so you know, use your discretion here with how much frosting you you enjoy. But we're gonna get this caked up. Lovely job. Oh my gosh! Look at that. I like it when you do the little peaks as well. Yeah. I just think that. Oh, lovely. As a dessert, it's just perfect. Joshua shoves the whole thing in his mouth, but that's definitely two bites for me. <sighs> you do. You just gobble them up. Because then you get more in in the same amount of time. <laughs> they don't last long, these. You've got to be yeah. real careful. But you don't really, because, again, and all understandable ingredients. Yes. They're all very understandable ingredients. And they're honestly so high in fiber that it may encourage you to go to the bathroom. They are. Which is fiber. pretty shocking, because you're like, oh my gosh, how could something so delicious make me have to go potty with fiber? But any of those people that get polyp scans still. Not that I want to be talking about that right now, but it's good, it's good fun. We've gone there, haven't we? Uh, do you want a plate or something to present these on? A white plate, this just isn't Sure. One. The only thing they've got is the... Oh. They don't have a flat plate. I guess that'll be okay, won't it? Like that. Do you want to do the presentation? Since sure. you're on that side, you're on the presentation Am side. Am I? I've the... been promoted. <laughs> so the promotion works either way. I thought I'd been demoted. Do you see how creamy that frosting is? Oh gosh, I hope you guys are excited. Yeah, there's no flat plates, honey. There's That's okay. That's fine. There's only these, but you'll just have to hold the yeah the tray up then. Wonderful. So Look this is probably that. like a little heavy on the frosting, but That's good. That's whatever. Good. Wait, I, I didn't finish frosting that last little guy. You rushed me, me sometimes. Let me out. You rushed me sometimes. Russians. It's just sticky. I thought it was finished, that's all. Okay. Beautiful. Oh no, my dress is sticking in the syrup. Oh, there you go, Kevin. Lovely. Look at those. Awesome. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well. So how simple was that, guys? That was seriously so easy. So easy. And of course, you can just buy Simple Mills brownies from home, but I think when they're made from scratch. Oh, way better. It's just, it's, and you get more it's of a them? labor of love. You think you get more? Definitely. Yeah. And you don't, that those box ones don't come with frosting. No, they don't. And you don't want to buy the store stable frostings. I know they're tempting, but this well, is that's so, so easy. easy. And you buy them in bulk from Country Life, you have them in your fridge, you never regret it.
Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for watching. This has been sweet potato brownies. We're excited to share these with the crowd. Mm. This recipe will be available on our website as always, and we really encourage you to go and try it because it is very easy. It's very customizable and very tasty. Mm. Catherine, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Much love. Peace. Bye.